Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about a really high dual topic. It's about the cutoff point. They like to ask what will happen if we move the cutoff originally here in X point either to A or to B. But first we have to understand what is uh, this diagram, okay? So imagine this side is for people who has a positive test and they have the disease. So positive test plus disease will be true positive okay in the other side we have healthy people with negative test so if you are healthy and you have negative test this will be a true negative and in the middle we have this false negative here in this side and false positive okay but before we continue we have to remember some things first it's this chart it's really really well known it's really ideal you have to memorize it you have to know it really really well Okay, in this case, again, this is talking about that this is, this is, and this is talking about if you're healthy or not. So again, if you have the disease and the test is positive, you will be a true positive. And again, if you don't have the disease and the test is negative, you will be a true negative. So we have to remember that you will use this row here to calculate sensitivity and this one here to calculate specificity. So, how to calculate sensitivity? We'll use the true positive here over these two. True positive plus true negative. So, we have to remember something that's really, it's really important. The trues always on top. It's really important. So, again, if you want to calculate specificity in this case, remember the trues are always on top. We calculate using the true negative over these two. So true negative plus over true negative plus false positive. Okay, so knowing these things, we can go back and think what will happen if we move the cutoff point. So the first case will be what will happen if we move the cutoff point from X to A. So in this case, we'll see that originally here from X, we move it to A. So in this case, we lower cutoff point okay so what will happen we can notice that all this part is increasing right so we have an increase of the true positive and if we go back we will see that the one that it's working with true positives is the sensitivity so if we increase the true positive in how to calculate the sensitivity false negative will remain the same but if you increase here and if you increase here the result will be that the sensitivity will increase you see so if we move the cutoff point from x to 8 lowering the cutoff point will increase the true positives and if we increase the true positives we will be increasing our sensitivity okay this is the first case now what will happen if we do the opposite, if we move x to b? So, we'll check now the second case. What will happen if we move x to b? In this case, we can notice that this region, this section, is the one that's increasing. And what is this originally? Yes, this is a true negative. And which one is working with a true negative? Right, specificity. So again, if we change, we're increasing the true negative over the true negative plus false positive at the end increasing here and increasing here will increase what our specificity in this case we're increasing the cutoff point so you can see it's really easy first case lower the cutoff point increase a true positive increase true positive in here you will increase sensitivity second case you increase the cutoff point from X to B, increasing the true negative. So at the end, if you change this, you will be increasing specificity. So, increasing true positive will increase sensitivity. And increasing true negative will increase specificity. So you have to remember this. Try to remember this really well, which is the part of, of the diagram and also remember this and this so this is all for all i will be uploading more videos explaining in an easy way or try to make it really